Hello, welcome to Monday. Of course, nowadays, one day is the same as another day. <laughs> but today is Monday and it's 1st of June. Uh, it's also a uh, very wonderful feast day in the church today. We celebrate today our Blessed Mother, uh, Mother of the Church. Mother of the Church. So in this day and time with everything going on between the coronavirus and all the civil unrest and uh, all that uh, negativity running around, we need to turn to our mom and uh, ask her for her help, her guidance, her intervention uh, in all of our lives. So uh, today we have that opportunity to, uh, to thank our Blessed Mother for her continued uh, work on our behalf uh, in heaven with our Father and here in our lives too. Uh, our Blessed Mother has always been a, uh, a source of uh, intervention between us and Jesus. And just as it started at the wedding feast to Cana, they went to her and they said, you know, our, our wine is empty. And then she went to Jesus and, you know, he did something about it, which is wonderful. And uh, so today, too, we can ask our Blessed Mother to, uh, to, to uh, go to our Lord and uh, ask his uh, help in our situation today, both uh, with our diseases and with our uh, civil unrest going on right now. So a very special day today, an opportunity to, uh, to turn to our Blessed Mother. And uh, we'll do just that, won't we? So we'll do our evening prayer on this Monday, June the 1st, and, uh, and ask for the intercession of our Blessed Mother as well. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord looks tenderly on those who are poor. In the Lord I have taken my refuge. How can you say to my soul, fly like a bird to its mountain? See the wicked one bracing his bow. They are fixing their arrows on the string to shoot upright men in the dark. Foundations once destroyed, what can the just do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world, his gaze tests mortal men. The Lord tests the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. He sends fire and brimstone on the wicked. He sends a scorching wind as their lot. The Lord is just and loves justice. The upright shall see his face. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you search the hearts of all, both the good and the wicked. May those who are in danger for love of you find security in you now, and in the day of judgment may they rejoice in seeing you face to face. The Lord looks tenderly on those who are poor. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Lord, who shall be admitted to your tent and dwell on your holy mountain? He who walks without fault, he who acts with justice and speaks the truth from his heart, he who does not slander with his tongue, he who does no wrong to his brother, who casts no slur on his neighbor, who holds the godless in disdain, but honors those who fear the Lord. He who keeps his pledge, come what may, who takes no interest on a loan and accepts no bribes against the innocent. 
such a man will stand firm forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Make our lives blameless, Lord. Help us to do what is right and to speak what is true, that we may dwell in your tent and find rest on your holy mountain. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. God chose us in his Son to be his adopted children. Praised be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God chose us in his Son to be his adopted children. A reading from the letter to the Galatians. When the designated time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to deliver from the law those who were subjected to it, so that we might receive our status as adopted sons. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. The Lord is with you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, for your great faith, all that the Lord promised you will come to pass through you. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, for your great faith, all that the Lord promised you, will come to pass through you. Let us praise God, our Almighty Father, who wished that Mary, his son's mother, be celebrated by each generation. Now we need to ask, Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. O God, worker of miracles, 
you made the Immaculate Virgin Mary share body and soul in your Son's glory in heaven. Direct the hearts of your children to that same glory. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. You made Mary our mother. Through her intercession, grant strength to the weak, comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners, salvation and peace to all. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. You made Mary full of grace. Grant to all men the joyful abundance of your grace. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. Make your church of one mind and one heart in love, and help all those who believe to be one in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. You crowned Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the dead rejoice in your kingdom with the saints forever. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, and, exulting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, as we embark on a new month, a new uh, week, and also we embark on ordinary time. Yesterday, Pentecost signaled the end of our Easter season. Uh, but remember, we are always Easter people. We are always people of the resurrection. So even though we get back into the wearing of the green vestments in ordinary time, we always want to keep in the front of our minds the fact that Jesus rose from the dead and is alive and sitting at the right hand of his Father in heaven for all of us. So as we embark on uh, a new month, a new season, uh, and uh, you know, celebrating the Feast of our Blessed Mother, uh, let's move forward filled with hope, filled with grace, filled with peace. And we pray continuously for uh, an end to the unrest in our nation. And uh, we also pray, of course, for justice uh, for all people, even-handed, nonviolent justice meted out as it's supposed to be in this nation of laws, uh, that we maintain uh, civility and love for one another and respect for one another. May God bless you all. And good Lord willing, I will see you again tomorrow. You have a wonderful night.